And hello, everybody, and welcome to Gridiron Gab. And here on NFLGridironGab.com, and also on Jets Gab. And we're very pleased and honored today to be joined by one of the members of the New York Jets running back and uh, also a premier kick returner, that, of course, being Leon Washington. Leon, how are you today, my friend? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Hey, we're glad you could come on and talk with us on this draft day Saturday. Let's get right into it. Uh, you know, your team, your club, a little bit of uh, making some noise. You know, there's talks about going after a running back, maybe moving up and getting a quarterback. Uh, you know, do you watch the draft? Uh, I mean, how, how important is it for you as a player of a team to watch a draft and, uh, you know, kind of get into it a little bit? You know, just being a football fan, you know, myself, I, I love watching the young guys coming out from college and seeing the opportunity they have, you know, in front of them and also watching – you know, what decision your team may make. So just being a football fan, it's always exciting to watch the NFL draft. It's pretty cool. You know, do you get into it like fans get into it? I mean, do you actually, you know, get the magazines and study the players? I mean, what what, what is your take, you know, of course, when, uh, you know, when it comes to draft day? I mean, how, how important is it to you and how much do you really watch it? Because, of course, if you guys draft a player that might affect your position, you, you have to kind of be aware of that. <laughs> yeah, and that's the one thing that no player wants to see, that a guy gets drafted in your position. You know that you're probably getting too old for the game or they're trying to replace you. So that's one part that we don't like seeing. But at the same time, you know, I have no choice. I have to get into it because my family, my friends, and, you know, all of my, uh, my teammates are always asking me who you think we're going to draft. So I have no idea. So it's, you know, the anticipation of not knowing what's going to happen on that day, I think it excites everybody, you know, not only for the fans but also for the players that, to play for that specific team. So it's one of those things that, you know, you have no choice. You have to get into it because it's always exciting to, to see a young guy, you know, coming out from college and an opportunity to, you know, have a job that he always dreamed of having. So it's pretty cool. So you have no choice. You have to get into it. Yeah, no question. Leon Washington, New York Jets. Leon, you were a fourth-round pick back in 2006 out of Florida State. Uh, tell me a little bit about your draft day experience. Well, on the first day, it was long. You know, you're sitting there and you're watching the first three rounds go by, and you're thinking, like, wow, you know, you, you, you believe it's a lot better than the guys that are getting picked in front of you. So in that aspect, it was long. But at the same time, you know, you realize that you're so fortunate to have an opportunity to have a job that you always been of having. So on the first day, it was long, you know, spent a lot of time with my family and, you know, waited the whole entire day. Your name didn't get called. But on the second day, you're kind of like, man, I just want to find out who I'm going to play for, what team I'm going to do. So... Uh, on the second day, the New York Jets, you know, gave me a call. I think I was a compensation pick for Herm Edwards being traded to Kansas City or getting uh, mm-hmm. getting a coaching job in Kansas City. So I was excited to have a chance to come up here and play for uh, um, Coach Mangini, also play behind um, Curtis Martin. So it was a neat experience for me. It was pretty cool. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, always I got a job that I always dreamed of having. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, and you are really uh, known as one of the more versatile players in the league. I mean, you obviously last season, 47 catches, 76 rushes, and and also the kick returns go without saying. It's been kind of an interesting offseason for the Jets. Obviously, Eric Mangini fired the day after the season. You bring in Rex Ryan. Uh, What has been your take on the offseason so far, Leon? It's kind of been uh, tipsy-turvy a little bit. You know, Coach Eric Mangini leaves and Brent Favre leaves and, it comes to Rex Ryan, you know, the coach is supposed to save our team. And, you know, Rex Ryan is a coach that, you know, is going to bring that tenacity, that confidence, I guess the new word is swagger, you know, that he did in Baltimore with the defense there. So, um, you know, we've been making a lot of moves in the all season. And we're finally putting everything together. we got a bunch of new coaches in. we got a bunch of new players. So we're trying to build that camaraderie right now. And, uh, you know, I, I firmly believe that we have a chance to, to play in the last game of the season, which is in Miami. You know, that's our goal, and anything less than that, you know, we're fooling ourselves and we're selling ourselves short. So, um, you know, I like the confident swag that we have right now. Many camps went well. You know, guys are bonding together. we got Bart Scott. And then we got the running back coach, Lynn. He's coming in uh, right now, and off the line is intact. So I look forward to defense and the offense and the special teams to, you know, re- work really hard in the offseason and put this thing together and towards our championship campaign. Leon, what is your take on the quarterback situation? Obviously, uh, you know, last season you guys went out and got Brett Favre in August. Uh, Chad Pennington was let go. And, you know, there was a lot of anticipation. And, and, and certainly the start and, and midway through the year, after you guys beat Tennessee, you were 8-3 and three and things look great. Uh, you know, Brett is gone. And, and, and it looks like unless something miraculous happens today or through free agency, which uh, probably nobody really out there the Jets want, you're either going to go with Kellen Clemens or, or one of the young kids, Brett Ratliff or uh, or even Eric Ainge. What's your take on the QB position right now? 
you know, the QB's position is the focal point of the team. You know, they always get blamed for losing the game, and they always get the credit for winning the game. And uh, this is a unique situation for us. You know, we got unique guys right there right now for us. Uh, Kevin Clemens is a guy who's played already. He's played in multiple games. And you got Brett Ratliff, who's a young guy, extremely talented. You got Eric Ames, who's probably uh, the youngest guy who just got drafted last year. So we got guys right now that we believe in that can get the job done. You know, football is a supportive sport, so everybody has to help each other out. But, you know, right now, many camps, those guys are playing extremely well. But, of course, you know, the organization makes decisions on who they want to lead the team or who they want to, you know, initially try to make them lead the team. So um, my belief is in this, you know, uh, whoever comes in and leads our team, whether it's Brett or whether it's um, Kellen or Eric, we're going to support those guys 100%. They bring somebody else new in, you know, like Jericho Kachi said, that they're only a piece of the puzzle. We have to help, have to help those guys out. So, you know, I look forward to it, just, you know, getting to training camp, building that camaraderie with the guys we have. If somebody comes in new, you know, we look forward to him coming in and trying to give us a chance to win. Again, Leon Washington, the New York Jets. Uh, Leon, I know it's a busy day for you. We appreciate you spending a little bit of time here on draft morning with us. Best of luck in 2009, my friend. We'll talk to you again down the road. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. That again, Leon Washington, running back of the New York Jets here on Gridiron Gavin on NFLGridironGab.com.